Right. And we have our first contestants coming down off the abseiling. We have apparently Dan Goodwin and Louise Burke. Uh, Louise is a health and safety officer who's never abseiled before, but she's looking forward to the challenge. It's a cold, rainy day here in Manchester, within your campus. Why does it always rain on me? Just waiting for the first two to come down. Great day for Manchester College, this. Raising money. Raising up money for the abseil, for comic and relief, comic relief. Most of the content. Most of the contestants in fancy dress. And we have a few students coming out now. Coming to watch the, the teachers, the tutors take on the Great Wall. We have Ashley Artemstall on the top. He should be interviewing uh, the contestants before the, the uh, challenge the, the Ab Salem wall. Meanwhile, I'm at the bottom, Matty Jump. Here, bringing you all the coverage when they come down. And their views and opinions, and how they thought it went. Were they nervous for it? And what's it like looking over? Great city of Manchester. I want to thank everyone who donated money to this cause to send these people over the edge. Now we've got some companies out. Here we go. Is the elf and safety? Is Louise back? She said that she'd raised seven hundred and fifty pounds from family, friends, and wonderful work colleagues. I wonder how she's feeling up there. We were up on the roof a couple of days ago. Wow, it's cold, and on a day like this. I'm sure it'll be even colder. As she's about to take her first steps. Nervous time, if you haven't ever done it before. Getting a bit of a crowd out here as well now. Supporting, supporting the friends. And she's taking the first steps. One of the first healthy, health and safety officers to walk on the sides of Withenshaw campus. Nice and slowly does it. Don't want to jerk it at all. Health and safety, lady, or doing very well. If you can't say that, what's that, what it says on the back of it? Top, it says health and safety. Using a bit of a pun. Now it is wintry conditions here.
just hitting the midpoint now. Looking like a pro. It's important to stay as straight as possible. You don't want to jerk the rope at all. Make it fall. Or bounce off, trying to bounce off the walls. Last quarter of the building. I'd love everyone to donate if possible. These are people are doing it completely free of charge. And it'd be excellent if anyone could donate. She's uh, done a fantastic job. I'll try and get an interview now with Louise. The, the link for donating money is on the college website. So, come on, don't be generous, pay a couple of pounds. For the price of a beer, you could help sponsor one of these lovely people. Try and get over. She's set up for the next, the next one to come down. Here she comes. Hi guys. Hi Louise. How was it for you? Oh, it was, it was uh, all right. It was better than I thought it would be. It didn't go quite as smoothly as I thought, and I did try to bounce. I've not done that before, so it's a first for me. So I wanted to do it because I'm the health and safety manager at the college, so I wanted to stay and show that you can do things like this as long as the risks are managed. And of course, they're all managed beautifully here. There's no danger. You've got more. It's more dangerous coming in your car to work than doing that. But I tell you what, it's scary. <laughs> oh, is it up there? Is it cold? Is it nervous? It's cold. It's windy. It's it's uh, it's cut, stepping over the edge. That's the worst thing because you you get your feet and then you're going to get your weight in the harness and then that's it. You're under your own steam really. So <sighs> done now. Yeah, you've done a fantastic job. 900 pounds for Comet Billy. So, Congratulations yeah, and uh, thank you very thank much. You very much. See you guys. That's Louise. Next, if I'm correct, is should be Dan Goodwin. Godwin, sorry. I know I do apologise, it says James McCracken who organised this event, so it should be uh, interesting to see how he uh, pans out for the man who organised it all. Looking there like Batman, I'm sure this was a stunt a couple of years ago at Buckingham Palace and now it's at Withenshaw Campus. Just getting harnessed up right now. Once again, big thank you for raising money. The £900 is going straight to Comic Relief. And uh, I'd, I'd like you to keep donating more as possible. These people are, once again, doing it for free, doing it for nothing. And it's a fantastic event. We've got Louise, aging her mom.
Up to now, we've raised 3,000, over 3,000 pounds, which is excellent. But once again, we need more than that if possible. So I'd like to keep, keep donating. It must be absolutely freezing up there for James and for the rest of the contestants who are waiting in the wings for him. This is a new building this within short as well, so I'm sure they'll appreciate some foot marks right down the sides of it. Lovely white walls. Make the mark on him. Let them know that they've been here. It's important to keep their health and safety well at bay. Everything, all risks taken. Uh, no risks taken, sorry. Make sure everyone's safe. Once again, if you want to raise money, enter the Manchester College's website and all the information and details are on there for you. Just don't know. And here we go, he's taking his first steps. James has been with the Manchester College for the last 15 months. And he's already made a big impact Organi organising this. Says here that he's a Stockport County fan and was very tempted to do the jump today without without the ropes. Fortunately for us, he's got the ropes on right now. And he's looking like a true Christian Bale, Adam West, Batman. Just reaching the halfway point now. You can see. He's getting his pictures taken by his friends and the family. Mainly friends and work colleagues, I think, actually. Nearly done it. Just happy hanging around. But congratulations to James for doing that. <clears throat> Feel very great. Posing, posing like a true superhero. I'll try and bring James over whenever he's ready to go and get an interview. Let, him, let him, all the viewers out there uh, let them know how he, how, he, uh, how he feels about how it went and everything. I want to thank everyone for coming out as well. Uh, coming out of the, the building to come and see the, the teachers and the tutors. Great support. See a few fancy dress costumes who should be seen up there pretty soon. <laughs> and here comes Batman himself. <laughs> uh, 
It is. Hi, uh, James. Uh, it was you who organised this event, wasn't it? Was, it was, yeah. It was, yeah. It was. Uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Probably not five minutes ago, but uh, yeah, it was. It was a good. It was good. It's good fun. It's created a bit of a buzz. So really happy with it. How do you think it went up there? How, how was the rope and everything? Yeah, it was good. It kept me uh, kept me up there, so that was the main thing. I think when he told you to go back at that point, I, the nerves started to kick in. But, you know, once I was down and I was sort of in my groove, I was okay. It was just the nerves at the top when he said go. I was <laughs> a bit nervous. I was living life on the edge up there. <laughs> it was good, yeah. It was, it was really good. It was, uh, I quite enjoyed it. I'd be happy to do it again now. Was that the first time for you? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was good. It was good. I recommend it totally. All right, cheers. Thank you for that. Right, thanks for that. Right. Thank you. There's James. How is it? Is that your first time? Right. Next person getting there. Tied up and ready to come down. Getting harnessed up, ready to come down again. <sighs> this is the third <laughs> <day contestant. laughs> And here we go, coming down. Going for the uh, <clears throat> jumping approach, on and off, okay. looking very smart, suits us up, <laughs> doesn't even need to use the wall, is that? Well, that's the first one down, hey, congratulations. I have a feeling that that might be Michael, Michael Fulton. Michael Fulton. Once again, uh, I'd like to tell everyone to raise money for this. It's a completely free event. These people are doing it out of their own goodwill. Is it Michael? Yeah, yeah. yeah Michael. Hello. Uh, Michael, uh, how was it for you? A bit nerve wracking at the top and then like, well, just got all the way down really. Just got in, got into the swing of it and stuff and bounced down a bit and uh, yeah, a bit of a adrenaline kick now really, it's good, yeah. Have you done it, be have you done it before? Yeah, yeah, I've done it before but um, off a railway bridge, so it's a bit different doing it off a solid building. Is so, this uh, your campus? Do you work no, here? I work over at Openshaw, so um, I didn't realise how kind of high up it'd really be to be honest with you because I couldn't see the airlines airport coming in and stuff like that so um, yeah all good. Yeah. How do you feel making your mark, your, your feet marked on the side of the building? 
the proud. Get up and clean it off, won't I? <laughs> Big paint it all. <laughs> Cheers for that, Michael. We have Kerry Sharman next. We have uh, two new people here for entertainment. Uh, is this your college, is it? No, I go to the Nicholas Oh. That's another Manchester College. No, I, I know that. Uh, are you both from Nicholas College? Yeah, we both yeah, go we there, yeah. Have you raised money at all today? Yeah, I have. I raised £15. And yourself? No, not yet. Yet? Yeah, I was gonna do this, but then I just I don't know. Chickens out. No, I um, did. It, it's I wanted to know if I am afraid of fights. It's not scary. I've done it before, but I just I don't know. I didn't want to do it. Do you have any uh, tutors here? Yeah, my tutor is the one who's gonna jump down. She's called Paula. Is Paula next? Is she? Is she? Is she? Is she? Uh, I thought it was Kerry next. I've been told that it's Kerry. I don't Kerry know, next. but Paula Paula's gonna do it. Are you proud of her? Yeah, yeah I, am. I really am. I'm here to support her. Yeah. Here to support her. That's where he goes. Where, where are he's all based? Yeah. Where, he, where he's standing? Where are we standing? Like down there. Out of the cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and out of the rain now. All right. All right. Okay. Cheers. Thank you for that. See ya. Live now. <laughs> oh, can I check on my phone? Yes. Yeah. Do you get my phone? Yeah. What do I go on? I want to go on. Thank you. Very good, the students coming to uh, support the tutors <coughs> on this cold, blistery day. Yeah. Hello. Don't forget, this is all streamed live. Everything you hear is uh, all live. Unfortunately. <laughs> I hope you're swapping between uh, both cameras. And here we go, it's this Kerry coming down now. Kerry is apparently dressed as the power. Makes the first, first couple of steps coming down the building. The rain is picking up a bit now, which will make it very difficult for the for the the, the, the tutors and the uh, the staff of Manchester College. So, so please, please donate. It's all for a good cause. Oh, a bit of a stumble there, but she's back on track. Family should be very proud of everyone here today. <laughs> Kerry's worked for the college for almost 12 years. And did skydiving for the 30th birthday. So I should, should be used to heights. Just a bit of a stumble there, knitting her knees. She's fine, she's back and walking down again. She has a little boy, who's two, who's come to watch her today. Just come and see his, uh, his mummy's abseiling down the building. She's, dre she's dressed as Maverick from Top Gun, <laughs> not the power. So that's why she's in her green overalls. 
try and bring it over for an interview as soon as possible. She's done it. Big congratulations to her. Getting a picture taken for this wonderful event. Try and bring it over. Carry! There you go, Carrie's coming over now for an interview. Hi, right, Carrie, how was it today? It was alright, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit rigid on the rope, so it's a bit. A bit difficult getting down there, but yeah, it's okay. It's nice to see your Top Gun wig came through anyway. Yes, I was worried about it blowing off, but I forgot I'd be wearing the helmet, so it's securely in place. So you've done uh, skydiving before, how was this compared to skydiving? Um, a lot easier, <laughs> but a bit more jerky. <laughs> Are you a thrill seeker? Not really, no, I just get roped into doing things that I don't really have any inclination to do. <laughs> Perfect pun for uh, roping you into it. I know, exactly. Yeah. My dad said that to me. How did you get roped into this? It runs in the family. <laughs> you got a little boy here, I believe? I have, yeah, but he's, uh, he fell asleep in the car on the way here. He's dressed as a gruffalo, which would have been nice, but um, my mum's just with him in the car, so he might wake up and come out, but we don't know. <laughs> he's missed his mummy on it anyway. Oh, well, yeah. I'm sure it's all, uh, this is all streamed live, yeah. so we'll be able to see it later on anyway. Yeah. All right, all right, cheers for that. Anyway, okay, thank you. Bye. And here's <laughs> we have Cat Gale coming down now. It was Jessica. Here's Jessica. Ready to brave. She's, she's, got, <laughs> she's got her bare arms up there. That must be absolutely freezing. We're all nice and uh, warm. Well, I'd say warm. It was still freezing cold, but we're ni nice under there. Nicely. That's great, great support. People are cheering and shouting for her name. It's an absolute horrid day. So once again, would you please, 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 please donate some money. The, all the information is on the Manchester College's website. And you can see the uh, weather up there with the cape blowing to and from. Gonna be very difficult, very difficult to concentrate with that cape spinning round and round. Coming up to 10 to 11 now, and uh, we've got only four people down. But the four people have, have went, have done brilliantly. Okay. Jessica Howard coming down now. Uh, she's about to take a first step. Once again, this is all streamed live. Love you to support as much as possible. Just 
taking her first steps coming down now. Looking very nervous. Then again, I, I'm not surprised. Taking it slow and steady. It's the correct way to do it. Getting great support from the rest of the crew. of a slip of the feet there and again she's doing well though doing very very well coming down now so half the way Doing very well in these torrid conditions. The weather's picking up as the day goes on. <laughs> very close to the end now. Just done all the hard work now, it's just got to get down to the end. Good spirits anyway, having a laughing joke. The staff. Big congratulations to Jess for completing it. We'll try and bring it over for an interview as soon as possible. Harness goes off with the next person. Try and get it over for an interview. Go and see how she got on. How it was up there. I was it for you. Oh my god, that was literally the worst thing I've ever done in my whole life. I actually thought I was going to die, it was terrible, I hated it. I'm glad I've done it, because it was for charity, and it's over and done with, and I've made it down alive, but it won't be something I'll be doing next year. I'll let you get in anyway, you look absolutely freezing. Huge thank you to all the staff who's come out today. Not knowing that the, what the weather's going to be like, but it is a typical Manchester weather. Cold, windy, and absolutely disgraceful if you're doing ab abseiling. So it's a huge respect to them, everyone doing it. Everyone's still hopefully in great spirits for this.
huge thank you for the, the, the Absail and team up there as well, putting it, getting everyone ready. Not an easy job. These are the people that are living life on the edge. Can't tell who this next person is. Hopefully, I'll have to wait until they get down. I can see that they have a lovely big red. I think they have. Got, <laughs> I think they have a big red nose on as well. If you're not aware, Ashley Hartingstall is upstairs uh, speaking to them, getting a pre-interview before they get down. As they're just on the edge of. Uh, to abseil. Ah. I can see some colourful characters up there. Dipsy looking over the edge. Whoever's dressed up as Dipsy, that is. <laughs> Keep raising money as much as possible as well, please, people. All the information's on the Manchester College's website. Seems to have a pro at this, getting down pretty quickly. Seems like they've done it before. Or it's too cold up there, <laughs> they want to get down as quickly as possible. Health and safety is a huge risk here. Well, if you've done it before, then you know how, to get, you know how the best way to get down is. Get down. Very close to the end now. Just chilling. Now, enjoying the last couple of seconds, being on, being a local Spider-Man. Weather outside is very frightful. And I hope that it is all at home and all delightful and will raise up money. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to do an interview. Just to come here. <laughs> <laughs> Put your nose on. Nose, I can't uh, have you done that before? Uh, yeah, just when I was younger, I used to do it, but I've done it for a while. I can tell you seem to get down the, the first bit really, really fast. I know, I want to go back and do it again, it was too quick. <laughs> it was really good. We've had a few, couple of people who absolutely love the experience. Yeah. Are you one of them? Yeah, definitely, yeah, it was brilliant. Uh, uh, thank you for that. I'll let you get out of the cold. Great. Oh, thanks. Right. Great. Cheers, thank you. And great spirits there. <coughs> Why are pirates called pirates? Because they are. Uh, 
I'm here for the rest of the day, unfortunately. And we have Dipsy coming up next. Well suited, looking great and colourful. I think we have uh, three out of the four Telly Tubbies here today, Ready, showing the support. We have Dipsy here with uh, uh, handcuffs on, handcuffs hanging off, just in case they want to stay up there, connect themselves up to the, the ropes, but I doubt anyone will. Some lovely, lovely pair of green boots, which I'm sure which hasn't got the best grip on them. And leaving some lovely marks. Bit of a slip there. Yeah, any airplanes going over us because we're quite close to Manchester Airport here. Sorry about that. We have money boxes going around Manchester College as well. If anyone's picking this up from inside, uh, would you please donate? Very grateful. Come, coming down to the last bit now. Done very well. Check out the size of them ears, like me dad. Sorry, dad, if you're watching. We have cake sales going round here as well. Dipsy down now. Hopefully to come and get an interview. <coughs> we have Dan here. Dan, what do you think of this this event? I think it's a great event for all the young people in the college, as well staff staff and uh, and students alike. You know. Dan obviously sure know what accent he wants to use today. Support and attach. I hope that's for comic relief. Love to see that getting shaved off. We we'll bring over Dipsy now. Morning. Afternoon. Afternoon. How was Hi, it? Everyone. That's good. Uh, don't, not looking down helped, I think. Uh, but yeah, safe, felt safe, so enjoyed it, thanks. You, your shoes don't look too safe, what's the grip like on them? No, it's very slippy. I think there's a little bit of a trail of mud on the wall, so I slipped a bit. But, um, it, yeah, it was all right. Is this your first time doing it? Yeah, I did have sailing when I was about 10, uh, a while back, but not as high as that. But, yeah, felt good, it's good. All right, cheers, thank you for that, I'll let you get off the cold. We 
of our next contestant coming down now. So people here in great support. Yeah, never mind the weather. Everyone here in uh, Whitney Shore campus doing a great job. Please, please, please donate as much money as possible. All you have to do is go on the Manchester College's website. A few people recommend this to other people. Most of the people actually recommend this to other people. So, I mean, if you're a if you're a bus business person out there, if you're a uh, owner company at all, uh, doing this for Red Nose Day is brilliant. We'll raise a lot of money for for the for the people who need it more. Well, I want to thank all the friends and family out there who also have donated. Donated. It's all gone to a really good cause. I wonder how Ashley's doing up there. Slight, slightly warmer down here. <laughs> it's hard trying to judge uh, who the people are when they come down, especially because they're all in costume. <laughs> but it's always nice to hear uh, people's reactions to it, especially especially if you know them as well. And now, now you know that they're on, they're on the computer. Why wouldn't you stream? Next. We have, we have Paula coming down next. Paula Gretzky. We have Poe coming down next. Getting geared up to come down now.
taking the first couple of steps. Going backwards must be daunting as well. How often is it that you actually have to walk backwards, especially over a building? I do apologise, uh, we have uh, Kelly coming down next, she's uh, been the payroll manager of Manchester College for over three years, um, staff should be pleased if, if uh, the, the money is sorted out, she'd just like to say that the uh, staff should be pleased if anything actually does happen, because the money's sorted out fine for them, and that was uh, in her bio, I do apologise, it doesn't sound like the, <laughs> the greatest of things to say. Seems to have a great sense of humour anyway. It, it is difficult, difficult for us as well to, because we can't see the face of who's coming down, especially with the big red <laughs> Teletubby head on. Uh, uh, Kelly's watched Comic Relief and thought about doing something recently, but all she used to do is just make donations. Oh, has never took took it in a stride to come out and do it of her own. So good, good on her. And I'm guessing there's lots of people out there who are the, the exact same. So please, 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 either donate some money, which would be great, or try and organise an event like this. how many people lost sleep with the nervousness of coming here today. They're doing a, doing a great job with it anyway. I've, I've, uh, I've on myself, I've only done abseiling once. And I was off something so much smaller than this in a, and in such a nice weather. And I can tell you even then, it was absolutely terrifying. So you're coming, coming close now. Please buy a red nose as well from anywhere, any shops close to you. I'm sure they sell them in all the major supermarkets. All that money goes straight to Comic Relief. Very close now to the edge. Just hanging around. Blistery conditions. I bet you some of these people can't wait to get in and have a nice cup of tea or a coffee, including us. Nice wave as well. Yeah. Nice big smile on her face. Looks like she's enjoyed herself. Yeah, yeah. stay right there. Yeah, so. so, Kelly, is it right? It is, yeah. Hiya. Hiya. How was it for you? Horrible. <laughs> Didn't you enjoy it one bit? Oh, no, like the worst thing ever. Don't you think you'll be doing it again then, no? Ever, 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 ever. <laughs>
but I'm glad I've done it, I suppose. Yeah, you've raised money for charity. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So that's brilliant. All right, thank you for that anyway. Like I said, most people enjoy the, can enjoy the experience and some people don't, it's like Marmite. I'd imagine it being a bit of a thrill seek for these people to do it. For well, most of the people anyway. It's something, uh, something you've never done before, you can always go and try it. And for comic relief, it gives you that urge just to go over the top with the rope. We have our third and final telly tubby coming down now. Only, only the telly tubbies. There's more people to come. Three telly tubbies here today. getting gears up, ready to come down, ready to face the wall, bring on the wall. More people have gathered. students coming out as well come to support so everyone goes on them absolutely uh, it's a great great for the support as well for the people up there just I'm sure it helps them a lot so uh, you see all the uh, some of the uh, recent contestants as well still here to support their friends and family Mainly friends. Mainly the work, work colleagues, sorry. You join us. For the first time on live stream, we are the Manchester College, and uh, we are here at Withenshaw Campus, filming uh, Red Nose Day's charity abseiling event. Fortunately, once again, because of the <laughs> yeah, the suits, it's hard to. Justify you who's actually coming down now. Apparently, these uh, Teletubby costumes were a last minute get together, but it does not bring colour and excitement to everyone. And we're about to take our first steps now. I have a, I have a hunch that this is Paula. Paula had, if this is Paula now, she had some uh, support earlier on from uh, students from a different campus, from the same campus. She's obviously not from Withenshaw.
everyone cheering for her now. The weather's picking up once again. So, big, big, huge respect for everyone who's doing this today. Getting to the halfway now point now. Imagine it's not a nice experience looking down at all either from the top of a building. Keeping a foot on. Losing a foot on as she comes down. It is very tough to have sailing. Getting a photo took. <laughs> Try and bring it over for an interview as quick as possible. Because of the weather, we want to try and make the interviews as quick and as uh, quick as possible, really. Because they've already been through enough. Oh, it's been through enough stress. Going down. Hi, Lisa, you are the HR yeah. advisor? I am, sir. How, how do you think that went for you? All right, apart from a lost my foot in. <laughs> uh, did you enjoy the experience? Yes, I did. Uh, would you say it's worthwhile? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right, so I'll let you get back in anyway, it's freezing. Right. Thank you. Right, I do apologise, that was Lisa Bateman. It's tough, it's tough trying to see uh, who everyone is. We have uh, two live streams on here at the moment. So we have th this one down here with me. And we also we have on up there on the roof with Ashley. Luckily, uh, I'm, in a, I'm under a gazebo here. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ashley has to face the torrid terrain. We have a few of the, the camera operator and the runner here. It's very happy to be under a nice gazebo as this weather's picks up. I'd like to thank Manchester College as well for, for providing the equipment and bringing all the uh, camera operators and everything here. It's all completely free of charge, and, for, and more importantly, for a great cause, like, like Red Nose Day. So please, if you could, donate money. The, web, the website and all the information is online at the Manchester College. Oh, 
rain is picking up even more now. It's absolutely dreadful. And even in the gazebo now we are getting soaked. <laughs> so I feel so, so, so sorry for the people up there. But they all know that they're doing it for a great cause. Most of these people are going to be doing it shaking with fear and shaking with the cold as well. So, if, any, if anyone comes off this with a huge smile on their face, it's absolutely brilliant because right, they know what they, they've done. They know who it's for. It's very unsocial. The totals now have been has gone up to three thousand six hundred over three thousand six hundred pounds. We have Paul Agresti coming down now. We have great support from all the all the people here on the campus. All based around us. Uh, Paul is a personal and a course tutor since 2005. She says she's doing the jump because obviously she has a screw loose. So fair play to her. And she's afraid of heights and has never done anything like this at all. But wants to do it to show to her students uh, if you've got self belief, you can set out to succeed, which I think is brilliant. Must be tough if you're, if you're not afraid. If you're afraid of heights as well, looking over that building is absolutely daunting. You need great, great strength and ambition to do it. And if it's for a good cause, then huge respect to the people. Thank you for donating anyway, and please carry on donating more. down to the halfway now she's nearly done it's absolutely brilliant so what she's doing thank everyone as well for coming and watching if anyone from Manchester College just came fantastic support it helps people like Paula who's afraid of heights to set out to do this and step over that edge She's also a, she has a one-year-old grandson and is looking forward to the arrival of another very soon. I'll try and pull it over for an interview. Here she comes. That was frightening. <laughs> yeah, right there. Hi, Paula. How was it for you? Frightening. Fair experience. 
Uh, what's it like having this support? I see, obviously, you, oh. all your course students have come out to support you. Because I'm feeling guilty, because three of them were supposed to be doing it with me, and they chickened out, so I have to do it myself. How's the weather up there? Is it absolutely disgraceful? Very, very disgraceful. Does that make it even more difficult? Well, I was, I was scared I was going to slide going down the wall, because it's, if it's wet, and you've got rubber on bottom. Sorry, I'm freezing. Yeah, I'll let you get in now anyway. Right, cheers for that, thank oh, you. Yeah, thank you. Big well done to everyone as well out there who's doing it. And big well, big thank you to everyone else who's paying money. If I take batteries off, um, you know about recording, do I have to do just record the live stream or is it automatically going to get recorded? Just so waiting for our next, uh, next member of staff to take on, to take on the wall. For those of you out there, would you please carry on supporting these people and uh, pay money? Here we go again, coming over the edge. Now, as you heard before, this weather does not help it at all. Uh, absolute torrid weather.